Right, so this video, I'm gonna go through how I pack the bike, what luggage I take, and what I take with me for a, a week's European tour. So this is my bike setup. So I go with the Givy tank bag. That's only the small one. I've got a 15 litre one. So tank bag, crash bar bag, each side, there's one that side, and my 58 litre Givy top box. So that's all I take. I do have these Lomo soft panniers, but those are always empty. So those are in case we're ever out somewhere and I'm gonna buy some at all food. So they always go empty. I never take anything in them. It's surprising when you see some of these people do tours and they've got tank bag, crash bar bags, top box, side panniers, bags on top of the side panniers, bags on top of the top box. Which it kind of makes sense if you're camping, but if you do with hotels, you know, what the, what the bloody hell are you taking with you? Why do you need all that much luggage space? So I do it very minimal. So we'll start with the tank bag. So what I will do in this top compartment, I normally have a cleaning rag just to wipe the screen and wipe my visor, some visor spray. And what I will keep in there is my DJI Spark drone, so it's only small, so I'll put the drone in there and I'll keep my documents in there, like my insurance, passport, driving license. I'll keep all that in there. Then in the main compartment, I've got my power supply, USB power supply. So in here, I will keep my wallet, my memory card box in case I need to swap memory cards. I will have some sunglasses in here. I'll have my vape in here, my vape juice, and my phone. I'll keep my phone in there. So unless I've got my phone on me ultimate add-ons case on the bars, I'll keep the phone in the tank bag. So that's all I'll have in the tank bag. Documents, drone, a rag, visor wipe, wallet, phone, sunglasses, vape. That's it. That's all I keep in the tank bag. So crash bar bags, I won't empty them, but this side I have a second pair of gloves, which is normally my Gerbing heated gloves. Uh, not for the heating, mainly just for, because I'm waterproof, because I normally go in my summer gloves, so I'll have a set of waterproof gloves in there. In there I've got my portable tire inflator, I'll have a puncher repair kit and my little tool kit in that one. In the pannier bags that side I will have waterproof trousers and a waterproof jacket so that's them two sorted because those never really come out so they just stay on the on the bike soft panniers those are empty so when we come to my top box it's a 58 litre one and what I have is I've got the 58 litre bag inside it and the way I do it is I'll put all my clothes in there, I'll put in my batteries and my USB charging device, all in that bag. And then what I will do is when we get to an hotel, I'll take that bag out, I'll carry that to the hotel, and then I'll put my helmet, take the card off my helmet to the GoPro, put my helmet, my jacket and my gloves in the top box and leave them locked on the bike. So all I've then got to carry is that bag, which is never normally full, and I even put the tank bag in there and I'll carry that up to the hotel. So what I take in this bag, so I've got the batteries, all my charge cables, that USB hub that I can charge everything up. I will take a pair of flip-flops because it's going to be warm. I don't take trainers because I've got my Vans Gore-Tex ankle boot trainers. So if I do need to go out and I've got to wear trainers, I'll put my bike boots on. So I'll take flip-flops, deodorant, toothpaste, toothbrush and shampoo. Don't bother with shower gel or anything like that. I'll just use shampoo. So I'll wash my hair and wash my body with the shampoo. 
and I'll normally take a little bag of coffee in case whenever we go the coffee's crap in the hotel. Clothes wise I will take one hoodie, seven t-shirts, seven boxer shorts, seven pairs of socks and two pairs of shorts and that's it which doesn't normally won't even half fill that bag so I only cater for seven days normally in Europe in summer you're going to get decent weather even if it does rain it's still going to be warm so we'll just a seven t-shirt seven socks seven pants two pairs of shorts one hoodie if ever we're going out somewhere and I do need to put trousers on I'll just put my biking jeans on if I need to put a jacket on I'll put my bike jacket on so I don't need any extra unnecessary clothing to take with me plus it keeps the weight down on the bike now what I've done previous years is I buy seven pairs of cheap boxer shorts and seven pairs of cheap socks off Amazon and then at the end of each day once you've been on the bike sweating all day instead of putting dirty underwear and smelly socks in with my luggage or even in a bag or whatever I buy the cheap socks cheap pants off Amazon and when I get to the hotel room I'll throw the socks and the pants in the bin and the next day put on another fresh pair end of the day throw them in the bin so I end up coming back without any clothes smelling and what I'm looking at this year is I've looked at some t-shirts so I can get six t-shirts on Amazon for 12 quid so I might do the same get to the hotel pants socks dirty t-shirt in the bin next day put clean on so by the time I get to come home of, you know my luggage is even less so it works out £12 for t-shirts I think it was £5.50 for boxer shorts about the same for a bunch of socks so really 20, 20 quid is what I'm talking for socks pants and t-shirts and then I'll just bin them at the end of the day so all I'm going to be bringing you back is my pair of shorts my flip flops and my hoodie that's it in the bag so at least if I'm bringing you back any wine or anything like that or presents for the kids I've got enough room to put it in and plus I've also got the spare and that's really how I survive for the week I only need shampoo to wash my hair and my body toothpaste toothbrush that's it don't need any other cleaning products grooming products aftershave none of that you know I'm going to spend a, a week on the bike and any downtime we have we don't go anywhere posh so it's either in a calf or in a bar or takeaway food whatever so simple easy and minimal is how i do it and i can get away with that with just a tank bag two crash bar bags and my top box a lot of people do take you know going out clothes for the night and you know i suppose if that's what you want but at the end of the day i want this to be easy simple minimal i don't want to be carrying too much extra weight on the bike and plus i end up coming back with it lighter they said have a night to leave the helmet in there and my bag uh, my helmet and my jacket in the top box so i'm only carrying one bag up to the hotel obviously i'll remove my garmin sat nav i'll probably take this off completely this apple car player won't be needing that for tour and that's really it that's my setup oh and the one other thing i do keep in here is my disc lock so if ever you are parked up somewhere for dinner i can just put the disc lock on that's as easy as it gets i don't need massive panniers with bags on top and roll bags and you know it's i don't know what these people take on tour with them you know i could do i could easily do two weeks out of that bag with what i've got here two weeks easy i think some people especially when they're doing their first european tour or you know even if i'm staying in this country and i'm doing a week's tour a lot of people overthink the packing and I thought I did that at the beginning and as we've done these tours each year I've realised each year well, I don't need, I'm going to bother taking that I don't need that, I don't need that so now I'll just come down to literally what I'm going to wear if it's disposable I'll get disposable, throw it away there's no point carrying a week's old pants and socks and especially if it is hot which we have had before 36 degrees even with your mesh jacket on you're still going to be sweating in your t-shirt I don't want to be carrying that around in my luggage you know, even if I've got it in a carrier bag, I still don't want You're still going to get the smell of that in your clothes. So, bin it off, 20 quid, just get rid of it. Make life simple. So, I think that's what I might do this year. I might go for some cheap seven t shirts off Amazon. 
cost me about 12, 13 quid. And that is my tubing setup. Nice and simple. So to the next one. Oosh.